All right, so the Trevor Lawrence era is now underway. The new franchise quarterback set to be introduced to the Jacksonville Jaguars community at some point today. We'll have coverage for you on 104.5 FM. Seemingly saying all the right things in in the hours after he was selected first overall by the Jacksonville Jaguars about uh, doing all of the hard work ahead of games and uh, working to earn the respect of the, the, the community and his teammates and more. Uh, that'll be such a, a, an interesting story to watch in the weeks and months leading up to the start of the season. And perhaps the surprising move by the Jags with a 25th pick, uh, going with uh, another Clemson star, running back Travis Etienne, get more speed in the backfield and more weapons now for the new uh, quarterback. What moves do you want to see the team make in the next couple of rounds as we turn into the weekend? Hit us up here on Facebook or drop an open mic in the free 104.5 WOKV app. A lot we're working on packed for you on this Friday morning. Uh, we had a deadly wrong way crash on I-95 that uh, took out lanes on I-95 approaching downtown in the overnight hours. A young man from Jacksonville lost his life in that as well as a, a man from uh, the uh, Cocoa Beach area who was also on I-95. This happened around 2 a.m. AM, Florida Highway Patrol still investigating. Chief Meteorologist Mike Burris says we're going to have a hot Friday with temps soaring to near 90. Humidity is going to be ratcheting up as well. And we'll face the possibility of a late day shower, scattered thunderstorm. Saturday looks like your pick day to get everything done you want to get done outside, whether it's along a walk, run, bike, um, maybe a hike, head out to the beach. A lower humidity and comfortably mild temps only into the upper 70s. Heat returns for Sunday with the chance also for scattered showers and thunderstorms. And it looks like we're going to stay on the hot side as we turn into early next week. Florida elections reforms passing the House and now headed to Governor DeSantis for his signature, making some pretty sweeping changes to what has happened uh, over prior election seasons in Florida in 2020 and the 2016 presidential election. We're unpacking what all is in these reform plans at WOKV.com. Have a safe and restful weekend. We'll be covering the latest uh, developments uh, through the Congress and uh, with the Jaguars uh, second, third, and fourth round draft picks uh, over the weekend. Make sure you follow along in the free 104.5 WOKV app.